Yo, what's up guys? Today I'm actually gonna be showing you how you can get more vibrant colors inside Rust. And this works for everyone except Mac users. So whether you have a Windows PC, you have an Intel graphics card, an Nvidia graphics card, or an AMD, this will work for all kinds of computers. So as long as you're on Windows, this should work for you. So the first thing we can actually do is you can do this while Rust is open. And a lot of people don't know this, but if you press Control Z, where you normally go to do your instant replay, did you know Rust actually reached out to Nvidia to disable the game filters. If I press this right here, I don't know if it actually shows this, but it says this supported game is not required. So they actually delisted Rust from the supported games list. So we actually had to find out another way that we can make our colors better. So, so the first thing we can do is actually go to our desktop and click show more options and open up your NVIDIA control panel. Now the first option is for NVIDIA users. Now I'll also show some pictures on screen of how you'll do it for Intel users and AMD users as well. So you'll just right click and instead of clicking NVIDIA, you'd click yours. Now for me, I wanna go, cause we're on NVIDIA, we wanna click adjust desktop color settings. Now we can manually change each color individually, but I don't like to mess with this right here. I like to go down here to the digital vibrance. Now I am screen recording, so you cannot see the difference, but they have all these different images here that you can compare them to. And they like the blues get a lot more vibrant, the yellows. So I don't like to keep it on super vibrant. My sweet spot is at 60%. That's what I really like, but you can really see the difference. Like these green and purples. Again, you can't see it because I'm screen recording, but you can also just mess around with some different things like with the hue as well. You can make your uh, whole computer like one certain color. But the next step I actually wanted to show you was in the settings. So go ahead and open up your settings and go to system. All right. Once you're on system, go to display. And once you're on display, I'm actually going to recommend you do something. It's called nightlight mode. And I actually just set the hours. It's super easy. All you do I like to turn it on at 9 p.m. So, and what this does, it actually just removes the blue light and blue light is actually what keeps you awake. It keeps you like energized almost. The psychology is weird. Like they even put blue lights in subways to keep people more alert and awake. So if you actually wanna turn off the blue light, which you should do if you're going to sleep in a couple hours, most people forget to do this. So I actually just do the set hours, maybe turn it on at 9.30 p.m. or whatever you'd like and then it turns back off whenever you're back on your computer in the morning at 7.45 a.m. So these are just a few different ways that you can mess with your colors inside Rust, and hopefully uh, after that, your Rust will look a lot more vibrant, and you will start to like it a lot more after that. But yeah, I can't believe Rust reached out to NVIDIA and disabled the game filters. I used to love doing that. A lot of people used to like use it in a way where you could almost get night vision. It was crazy. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button if this helped you out. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.